Another tower proposed for Ala Moana Boulevard near Ward Avenue, and this one will displace a car dealership. KITV Force Catherine Cruz has our first look at the project, all new tonight at 6. It's on this three acre lot, home to the Cutter dealership that plans call for a new high rise tower. The 39 story building will provide 265 luxury condos, mainly two and three bedroom units. Vida LLC is a project between Kobayashi and the McNaughton Group. It's one of two projects approved for fast tracking. The developers asked for early decisions because after this month, there may not be quorum. The terms of several board members will end December 1st when the new governor takes office. Some residents think the move sets a bad precedent. The next contractor is going to come along, or the next developer is going to say, well, you did it for him, do it for me. But under the agency's rules, if the board doesn't take action by January 5th, the project is automatically approved. The inability to hold a meeting in December um, and with uncertainty as when quorum could be achieved and then to uh, appropriately hear and decide on the project uh, contributed. So, yes, there are some concerns that there would be an automatic approval. The Alamoana Neighborhood Board is giving the thumbs up on the project because it can't find too much to complain about. The developer isn't asking for any changes to the rules and in fact is providing more open space, more recreational space and more landscaping than what's required. It'll also add some 200 bike parking spaces for its tenants and the general public. It already has approval on a burial treatment plan for EV found on the site. There are actually 11 individual burials that have been identified in this project. And a traffic study says there shouldn't be too much of a problem if the developer takes into account certain recommendations made by traffic engineers. The cutter lot backs right up to Oahe Street. As you can see, the sign says it's not a through street, but that's going to change. The city plans to relocate a base yard that blocks access to the area, which should alleviate some of the traffic congestion. What it does is provide a secondary reliever for Alamona Boulevard, which is uh, congested at the moment during the peak hours. The developers expect that the new tower will be up and ready for occupancy in 2017. Now, Kamehameha School still owns the land under this project, but it's in the process of selling it to the developer. The lower cost, more affordable reserve units, which are required, will be built somewhere else. And the Hawaii Community Development Authority will make a final decision on November 25th. Paula, Yanji.